Next up, dead shark repellent. Why would you want to repel a dead shark? <laughs> no, no, the use of a dead shark as a repellent that supposedly, the myth is sharks don't like the smell of other dead sharks. Thus, if you have the essence of dead shark on you, you will be protected from sharks. Well, there's a certain morbid logic to that. I totally agree, and I think we should test it. What is the origin of this story? Well, it comes from fishermen. They learned that if they dragged a dead shark behind their boat, it kept sharks from eating their catch. We are not going to test this by strapping a dead shark to Jamie. I'm getting in the water with those guys. To be a little more scientific, we're going to use this. This little bottle is full of distilled essence of dead sharks. Ah. That's bad to me, but apparently it's kryptonite to a shark. Time to put that to the test. Here's our plan. First up, of course, we need sharks. To that end, we've buried a bait box full of fish guts in a fake rock down at the bottom, and it is slowly doing our work for us of gathering together a large swarm of sharks. And when the swarm's big enough, I'm going to go down there and release an essence of dead shark right into the middle of it. I will also be underwater, but a few dozen feet away, so I can watch carefully for any behavioral difference in the sharks once Jamie releases the essence, whether they get skittish, whether they flee, or whether they don't seem to notice at all. All right, I count at least uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least a dozen sharks, if not maybe most than 20. Okay, well, this is the real deal, and as you can see, we've got some sharks circling around here. Here we go. Mount the cliff. Essence of dead shark. Three, two, one, and... Wow! Wow! That was a very specific reaction. I mean, it was, like, instantaneous. The moment you cracked the seal, I saw the sharks, like, shimmering to get the freak out of the way. <laughs> What was once a shiver of sharks has, just 90 seconds later, become barren, despite the bait box staying in place. In fact, it's almost six minutes before some sharks start to venture back. And that's very good news for the myth. That shark repellent, as far as I can see, worked. But it's not science unless it's repeatable, and so we're going to try this test again. I think we're going to take it up a notch. Yep, the boys are going to cue a feeding frenzy. This time, we want them on the edge of a frenzy. This increases the number of sharks, increases how interested in food they are. It also radically increases our danger, but it is exactly the kind of worst case scenario that you would want a shark repellent to work in. This is the ultimate test for the dead shark repellent, because if it can shoo away sharks that are in attack mode, then it'll be well and truly mission accomplished. OK, here we go. OK, it's out. Now look at them. They're totally high coming it out of the area. Amazing. Yep, the test literally couldn't have gone any better. And like last time, it's more than five minutes before the sharks return. So what's the verdict? <laughs> So, our shark repellent works. That's one way to put it. A more accurate scientific way to put it would be that our shark repellent worked on the sharks we encountered today, specifically reef sharks and nurse sharks. But here is the most interesting fact. The essence of dead shark we were using didn't come from either of those two species. So we could extrapolate that our shark repellent might work against many, many different species of sharks. And that is darn cool.